Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve the Microsoft 365 error message CAA50021. Number of retry attempts exceeds expectations. We couldn't sign you in. If this error persists, contact your system administrator and provide the error code CAA50021. So this can typically appear on basically just about any Microsoft 365 application and will typically occur when your device fails to register in the Azure AD Admin Center during a user sign-in attempt. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. And now in the description of my video, I'm going to have a couple commands. I want you guys to copy the first command in the description of my video and then go ahead and copy it to your clipboard and then paste it into the command prompt window. So go ahead and copy the first one and then go up the top bar of the command prompt here. Right click on it, select that and paste that in. Once that's done, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video, and then go up the top bar, right click on it, select edit and paste that in as well, and hit enter. Once that's done, close out of here. So we're going to open up the search menu, type in task scheduler, best match, or come back with task scheduler, open that up. You want to expand the task scheduler library by clicking the little arrow next to it. And then select the Microsoft folder, double click on it. Should be a Windows folder. Double click on the Windows folder. And then go down to the Workplace Join folder. Right here. Just left click on that one time. And now on the right side, you want to select underneath selected item, select the enable option, and then run. So automatic device join should be running. Once that's done, close out of here and you want to restart your computer at this time. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. If you are still having a problem, we can attempt to repair the office installation on our computer. So open up the search menu, type in programs, best match, come back with add or remove programs, open that up. In the search apps field at the top, type in office, select Microsoft 365, select the three dotted icon next to it and select advanced options. So select the Microsoft 365 application, the three dotted icon next to it, and then select advanced options. Underneath reset, if the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And then if you're still having a problem, you can select the second option. That if the app still isn't working right, you can reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select reset. So this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And before we restart our computer, I do want to point out if you have a local installation of Office as well, you may want to try and repeat the similar process for that as well. So if you select and Modify and then Yes, it might give you an option here to then either do a quick or online repair, in which case you can select the Repair option and go ahead and begin repairing your device.
So you can see it says so we finished repairing your Microsoft 365 and Office programs and features. You can now close this window and use your programs. I would suggest restarting your computer nonetheless at this point. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.